Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our next three examples of how to graph quadratic equations. And notice that the format is a little bit different here. Notice that here we have y equals 2x squared minus 4. So we don't have the quantity x plus something or x minus something. So what we can think of is we can make this look exactly the same as that. So notice there's no difference mathematically between these two. We simply have x minus 0 quantity squared instead of just x squared. It's, it's the same thing. But then you realize that there's no shift to the left or to the right because we have the number 0 there. But we do have a shift up or down because there's a constant. And then also there's a number 2 there, which means y will grow twice as fast, so the problem will be skinnier. And the number in front is positive, so we know that it will open upward. So where will the vertex be? It'll be on the y-axis because there's no shift to the left or to the right. It'll be 4 units below the origin. So it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 4. So we know the vertex is there. Then we know that the problem will open upward. It'll be skinny because it grows twice as fast as normal. So the problem will look kind of like this. All right, next we have this one. We can again think of it as being no shifted left to the right because it's minus 2x squared. There's no middle term and there's just a constant. So that means that the Vertex will be on the y-axis, 5 units above the origin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's the vertex, and since there's a negative sign in front, that means the parabola will be opening downward. The 2 means that it will grow twice as fast, so it will be skinny. So the parabola will look kind of like this. On the third example, again, there's no shift to the left or to the right, so that, need, that means the vertex is on the y-axis. There's a shift up of two units, one, two, and the problem will open downward because there's a negative sign. And the one half means that y will not grow as fast, so it'll be a much wider parabola, so it'll kind of look like this. And that's how you very quickly can graph parabolas in, with these kind of equations, or I should say graph the equations that are presented here that look like that. There's no middle term, so in this case you know that the vertex will be on the y-axis and the constant means that it will be shifted up or down by the number of units indicated. The sign in front will determine if it's opening downward or upward. And if it's a 2, it'll be skinnier. If it's a 1 half, it'll be wider. And so those are, those are the general principles of graphing these kinds of equations. You know, I never realized that the very left, the very right equation, I never really looked at it that way before to graph very quickly. Because mm -hmm. when it comes to a different, when it comes to actually having a shift right or left, I just look at it as a completely different equation instead of the zero. Yeah. Yeah, I just I just thought of that. I go, well, that's one way to present it. And so that that knows that's how you know that there's a shift to the left or to the right. If you can put it in this format, x minus a plus a number squared, then you know it shifted left or the right. The constant at the very end is shifted up or down. Yeah, but I just memorized it as a completely different formula. Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Just one, it's all the same thing. It's, it's how, what format you want to put the equation in. Yeah. Okay, makes it easy this way.